this video, we will show you how you can use uh, coordinates planes to extract section profile geometry off your 3D models. It's quite, quite often it's useful to be able to go through a section of an assembly and you want to extract uh, geometry maybe for interrogation, to check clearances, uh, or to use to create other parts, or for doing maybe even some uh, analysis. So let's dive into it and show you how you can move ahead with that. The first, first thing we want to do is we want to create a coordinate system on where we want to actually do a cut through. So in this case, what I want to do is I'm going to put in the, right in the center of the tip of this a coordinate system. And to do that, you want to go to your Feature tab, and under the Reference Palette, you want to hit Coordinate System. And then it, you have the option to pick how do you want to pick your coordinate system. And we're just going to keep it simple right now. Just pick it by point. Let's, excuse me. I'm going to pick right around, let's say, right there. It's just saying, do you want to see them? Okay, sure. And there's our coordinate system. We have our, our main global coordinate system, and INK gives you the abilities to create as many local coordinate systems as you as you need. Uh, we're not going to get into the to the advantages of that right now. Uh, what what I'm going to basically do is just show you how you can use these planes as cutting tools. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you have to activate it to make sure that that's the planes we want to be using you expand the button you can see you have an X Y play a plane I'm sorry X Z plane so on and so forth you have actual axes you can use in an origin plane so in this case I want to use this plane here to extract some geometry down the center so that is the X Z plane so you can either pick it in the scene or in the scene browser and just right click on it you have the option to create a section profile is which what we want to do here so I'll just check that and you'll see it does create the 2d geometry to see that easier it shows up here in your scene browser we just right click and we just hide everything else you can see there's our actually 2d geometry that we can use to create other parts or again maybe you want to dimension it to grab some dimensional data if any interferences or clearances uh, so let's do that again and you notice the section stopped um, where the plane stopped it didn't run through the whole assembly so if you want to grab another another section through the whole part we have this plan plane here I'm sorry you got these handles you can kind of drag I'm just gonna show you maybe we want to just go that far just kind of grab that hole we don't really want to waste our time with anything beyond that and we can do the same thing again we can say create a section plane and now it'll give us a new geometry up to that point you see it as you can see here we'll right click on that have a totally new geometry you can work with. Unhide everything at the moment. We'll unhide and show all. You can also right click on your coordinate system and format it. And we can use the auto size option. So it, by default, it's set to manually size. But we're now we're going to just say, and it, it'll fit basically to everything in the scene all right and then we can do that again right click and create our section profile now we're getting one through the, the entire uh, assembly and you see it shows up here we've got our third profile for even more geometry and of course uh, lastly Sorry. You can always 
obviously use the try ball to rotate your coordinate axis as needed and generate any specific sectional data you need to extract. So I won't go through that, it's the same process, but there you have it, using your coordinate systems to create section planes and sec uh, section geometry. I hope you find this useful.